What's good, guys? Welcome back to another awesome, awesome weekly market forecast with me, Tremaine. And in today's one, guys, we're going to be going through four different pairs. We're going to start straight off with the DXY. And looking at things, guys, we look like we're on the daily right now. And what we can see basically from a daily is that we've seen this market basically just making a move to the upside. Now, in this move to the upside, we've obviously identified a smaller underlying trend. So if we had dropped down onto the four hour, what we basically see is that we've got this uptrend that has been going on over here. And obviously we see market now finally breaking and violating this uptrend to the downside. So showing us that whatever four hour uptrend had been going on has now been violated to the downside. Now, after we've seen this violation of structure, what we basically see is prices taking a very long time to move away from this area. So entering some sort of a bigger, larger corrective structure. So what we've simply done for ourselves, guys, is that we've just highlighted the key important resistance areas. So that resistance, this resistance up here, and obviously our extreme resistance right at the top there. And what we're going to be doing is just identifying nature's theory when nature or where rather when price action does actually come into these resistance areas. So what we do have here is obviously we can see this nice ascending structure over here. We've got our resistance areas over here. So obviously we need to wait for prices to come to these resistance areas and then obviously show us some sort of a reaction. And once you see that reaction, then we'll obviously be able to see whether we should be looking for that risk entry or that reduced risk entry, regardless of whether prices reject from here, whether prices reject from here or whether prices reject from up top. Guys, I am still bearish price on the DXY. Obviously I understand that prices have entered some sort of a consolidation and we are taking a while to kind of develop and get away from this, this consolidation. But what I'm going to do guys is I am going to exercise patience. And that's what you guys are going to notice about a lot of the pairs that we're having a look at today. A lot of the pairs guys, I guess it is December. So a lot of these pairs are just doing very awkward things. A lot of these pairs are kind of ranging, but we are still trying to look for those trading opportunities. So bearish bias guys for the DXY over the course of next week. Let's get into one of the pairs that we're going to be having a look at. And that is our Aussie CAD. So let's just go up to a daily. So guys, Aussie CAD, what we do have here is obviously this momentum to the upside. And what we can see, what I have isolated is some sort of a corrective structure. So now what I've done is I've accommodated for my extreme resistance areas over there, obviously drawn that nice resistance trend line. And then also my extreme support. So we've got lows over here, which are our next lows is these lows over here. And we can see that prices are right now giving us a nice, beautiful uh, touch of our descending structure. So what we can see is that we are at some, I guess, some support structures over there. Now, what we also do have is this nice swap area. So we have previous resistance that prices did break above, treat that area as support. And obviously we've highlighted this area coming over here to our right hand side. So we can obviously manage our bias and manage this um, trade. So what we can see is obviously that we've on a four hour isolated another descending structure and we've broken below at the third touch of the structure because we had our first touch in this area here, second touch over here. And at this third touch of price, we see prices violating our descending structure. So what we're going to be waiting for guys on our um, Aussie CAD, and I guess it's just one of those pairs that's gonna might, that might require some patience from us. But nonetheless, guys, we know that patience pays in the market. So guys, you can see that we've broken below our trend line and as well as our horizontal support. What we can be waiting for from price action is to see price action, first of all, breaking back into our structure. And once we see prices breaking back into our structure, we wait for that nature in price action that does then confirm our bullish momentum. And obviously, once we've seen our nice, beautiful corrective structure, indicating to us that yes, we can be looking for those bullish bias trading opportunities because momentum is starting to slow down to the downside. Guys, once we find this nice, beautiful corrective structure after we've broken back into our structure, we can now resume our bullish trend. So what we're doing here on Aussie CAD is just be simply just waiting for price action to then align with the structure and as well as the directional bias and obviously our understanding that we have of what the market is doing. All we're waiting for is we're waiting for price action to then obviously align in that direction. And once we see price action aligning, then we can obviously take that bullish setup. So guys, Aussie CAD, bullish bias over the course of next week, we'll go on to some Swiss Yen. So on Swiss Yen, guys, 
we have a nice, another nice, beautiful bullish bias. I still got an arrow over there showing what the analysis is. But if we look at our high time frame analysis, just to give you guys some context as to what's going on. So daily, we're in this ascending structure to the upside. We do understand that higher time frame prices do have the potential to break this ascending structure to the downside. Now, on a four hour, or even if we just zoom closely into our daily structure, what we have here is obviously previous resistance in this area over here. We see prices breaking above nice and impulsively, and we then obviously see prices is correcting towards this previous resistance. Now, obviously, nature in price action would then allow us to look for those bullish buy setups. So that's exactly what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for those bullish buy setups. So taking into account, obviously, refining our area to just this most recent resistance area over here, um, what we do have is obviously prices coming down nice and correctively to the, towards the structure. Now, also, in addition, guys, we see prices entering some sort of a consolidation in this zone over here. So we have our previous support structures from this region over here. We see prices breaking below those support structures, and obviously, we find them respecting it as resistance a couple of times. It's not 100% aligning, but we see prices reacting from this resistance area as well as our support. We also see prices reacting from the support structure. So obviously giving us an indication that price is stuck within a range with the important resistance and support over there. So what we are doing is treating price action like what it is. We are in a range. So we obviously need to treat this market like what it is. Look for buying probabilities from the low of the range and obviously selling probabilities from the high of the range. We also have confluence of this price action breaking above and retesting our previous high time frame resistance for that momentum to the upside. So guys, that's exactly what we're looking for. We have our support structures over here in this region over there. So obviously this is an area where we could be looking for a reaction for that bullish momentum. But nonetheless, I do have a nice value area, which is obviously the support structure where we obviously see previous support structures over there. Price is breaking below, breaking back above. So obviously we could always come back and retest that previous support structure for that bullish momentum to the upside. And that's exactly what I'm looking at over here. What I will be waiting for on Susien is I will be waiting for Susien to obviously give me a nice bullish bias setup no matter how that comes i don't know but obviously i know the direction in which i'm looking to trade and i know the structures that will give me entries in that direction so if i do see for example those double bottoms those inverse head and shoulders those descending structures those breaks of resistance followed by retest those are all patterns or those are all structures that can give me a bullish bias entry so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing guys waiting for price action on swiss yen to give me a bullish bias structure because we are stuck within a range and i am looking for those buying opportunities from the support of this range now guys we're going to go into the last pair that we're going to have a look at and that is new zealand dollar cad let's go straight up to the daily just see what we have about the structure so a higher time frame, guys, what we can notice about the structure on New Zealand uh, um, CAD is that prices are obviously in some sort of a descending structure. This descending structure, we do have some support structures over there. So obviously um, kind of almost equal lows because we do have these lows over here. We have lows over there. We have lows over here. And obviously we have lows over here, which didn't quite tap into that area. But nonetheless, we have a rejection from that region. So we've got the support structure over there. We've obviously just refined it to these lows here. We also, excuse me, we also have our dynamic resistance in this area over there. So we do see our resistance. We obviously do have our support. Now, what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be looking for that bullish bias price action from our support regions because we can obviously see that we're in a descending structure and we know that these descending structures normally can break to the upside. So what we will be looking for, guys, is when we drop down onto this four hour, we'll obviously be taking into account our most recent support structures over there and identify our key support structures over here where we'll be looking for that trading opportunity off. And what we can see is obviously that now that prices are or seem to be looking to breaking, or seem to be breaking below these lower structures, what we can do for ourselves is wait for price action to break back above those lower structures. And once we've broken back above, we obviously can wait for prices to retest this previous support structure, which after we can then start to look for our bullish bias trading opportunities. So guys, on New Zealand dollar CAD, we have this descending structure. We're coming towards our support. All we need to wait for is for a structure that does validate our entry, whether or not we put a resistance trend line over here and obviously identify what kind of a downtrend we do have going for ourselves over here. I'm just trying to select this resistance trend line. And then obviously we could obviously, obviously just wait for prices to break this resistance trend line to the upside. We would then obviously understand that the four hour downtrend has now been broken. And once you see that four hour downtrend being broken, then obviously we're waiting for our bullish bias entry criteria to get involved in this nice bullish trading opportunity, guys. So bullish bias on New Zealand dollar CAD, bullish bias on Swissian, bullish bias on AUD CAD, 
all we're doing is we're waiting for these setups to obviously provide themselves entries to ourselves. And then once we basically have these entries on our setups, guys, then we obviously take that setup. We have reached the conclusion of this week's weekly market forecast, guys. And this one has been quite short, has been very slow. Um, I mean, has been very short. And reason being is because we are entering December and a lot of these pairs are doing a lot of freaky things. So if anything, a tip for you guys over the course of this month, the rest of this month is kind of be very slow to take those risk entries and wait as much as you can for these confluences to align in your direction because there's a lot of opportunity and there's a lot of weird things going on in the market right now. Like over the course of last week, we saw a lot of beautiful structures being complete, but there has been a lot of volatility, abnormal amounts of volatility happening in the markets and obviously these manipulations and all of these other things. And so you want to slow it down and you kind of don't want to involve yourself in an entry or in a setup that's going to give you less probabilities of actually hitting your TP than usual. So guys, in this last month, basically let's wait for our setups to kind of mature enough and for those probabilities to align because we understand that patience does pay in this game. So otherwise guys, this is Tremaine Epic Chasers Mentor. Thanks so much guys for watching until the end of the video. Do drop a like if you have enjoyed the content. Otherwise, definitely do subscribe if it's your first time on the channel or if you have not subscribed and you have reached the end of this video, it means you did get some value. So definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future videos. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the future ones. Thanks guys. Cheers.